welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a dollar store makeup challenge. This should be very interesting as I was not able to find everything that I needed for a full face of makeup. So we're, I'm going to get creative and use a few of these things for different purposes. If this is there were some pretty slim pickings at my Dollar Tree. So the item that I found to use for foundation is this Beauty Benefit Cream by Sassy and Chic. It's actually a BB cream in light and I hope it's going to be the right shade. Let's find out. Um, I couldn't, I didn't find any concealer, so I'm going to hope that this does a good enough job because, I'm going to shake it up, um, because I'm going to do a wear test and let's see how this does through the day. Ugh, I hope I don't look like a monster because I, ooh, this is very pink and very pale. Okay. So I've just washed and moisturized my face and washed my hands, so I am going to use my fingers to apply this. So here goes nothing. Ooh, it's really light. Wow, it's so pale and super pink. Okay, here we go. It just looks like white sunscreen. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Woo! It is not blending. I wish I would have found a foundation brush. Okay, we're going to keep going. going to get. It is very light coverage and it's very pale, very oily, and pretty streaky. I tried to like pat it in as much as I could. Okay, I definitely need to set this. Um, so the powder that I found is hopefully going to help with this color situation. It is the LA Colors Pressed Powder in Nude. And it says it comes with a puff applicator. So let's see how fancy this is. Okay, it's very, very thin and just like a tiny sliver of foam. Okay, so the packaging is just like really cheap plastic, of course, but I mean, props for a mirror. Okay, let's set this. Let's set this mess. Whoa, that's really dark, <laughs> but maybe the light foundation and the dark powder can cancel each other out. I don't know. It's looking, it's looking rough. Okay. Well, it helped a little bit with how pale the BB cream was making me. Um, I'm going to go down the neck a little bit with it just for kicks. For blush, I picked up, there was only one shade of blush in my dollar store and it's this Colormate Sun Kissed Tan. It's almost like a bronzer, like a really red bronzer. So, um, let's see, it says it's paraben free. Natural look, long wearing, blends easily. Well, let's certainly hope so. And it comes with a little brush. But actually, um, I'm gonna use this brush. So this, I, this is a Kabuki brush I found at the dollar store by Sassy and Chic. Kabuki cosmetic brush. So I'm gonna use that with the blush. Okay, it's very powdery, but seems to be pretty pigmented so put my mirror over here
right, so there we have the blush on, and I'm calling this blush slash bronzer because it really is just like a very warm brown toned blush. So it's super powdery, but honestly, the pigmentation isn't bad. I mean, and I don't hate the color either. It's just really pigmented. So this is probably more blush than I would normally wear, but we're going to go with it. Okay, next thing is eyes. So it was pretty slim pickings um, on the eyeshadow front at the Dollar Tree as well, as well. But I did find this Wet n Wild eyeshadow in color. I don't. Know. Oh, color iconic eyeshadow in the shade Cheeky from Wet n Wild. And I've actually heard good things about these shadows. So we're going for a purple look today, as you can tell. Let's see how this applies. Watch it. Hmm. Ooh, it's very pigmented and very purple. It has like a pretty um, shimmer to it. So this might actually be fun. I'm just going to go ahead and just put it all over the lid and see how it does. So I'm going to use this $1 e.l.f. shader brush. You guys, I don't hate the shadow. There's not even any fallout. It's actually really pretty. I'm really packing it on because this is really the only shadow I'm gonna wear, so might as well just go for it. <laughs> oh, I knew this would be fun. Okay, so eyeshadow is on. Can you see it? All right. For eyeliner, I got this Wet n Wild Color Icon Dark Brown Brow and Eyeliner. So I'm going to use this for brows and eyeliner. Here we go. Okay, it's um, the, the color is pretty good. But is as good as it's going to get for eyeliner. Um, I'm just going to leave the bottom lash line blank, but, um, so the formula on this is pretty waxy and it was tugging at my eyelids, but that might actually be a good thing for brows. So I'm going to go ahead and do those next and to see what happens. Oh, oh no, my camera stopped recording and I don't know where I was. So hopefully I just did one coat of this mascara on both lashes and I am looking at my brows and this, you guys, this is so scary, but I think the point of this is for it to just be like horrendous, right? The point of this challenge. So um, I'm definitely winning at that part. Okay, here is the second coat of mascara. I mean, if you like a really natural look for your eyelashes, then this is a good one. It's just, it just like barely added a little bit of tint to my eyelashes, so I mean, it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. This would probably not be something I would reach for every day. Um, and the very last step is lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipstick in Breeze. <laughs> looks like that it's like a very natural almost like a nude color with a little bit of shimmer I'll swatch it it's very sheer um, it's right there it's really sheer so let's see how this does I don't hate the color. It's really sheer and ultra frosty. Um, I know that some people like that kind of color. So if you do, Wet n Wild Breeze is your girl. Um, okay, so this is the final face. I am going to wear this makeup throughout the day and do check-ins and uh, I'll probably do that in a part two. Um, see that in the following video. This is the dollar store makeup challenge as it stands right now. So I've got 
browse, uh, the browse, I just keep looking at my brows and I'm like dying over here. Like brow game is strong, too strong today. Um, then we've got the blush, which I'm also using as, I'm calling it a bronzer because it essentially is. Um, the nude lip is really, like, I don't, I don't mind it. It's really frosty. And then, of course, we've got our purple Wet n Wild eyeshadow. So it's an interesting look for the day, but it's not horrible. This is a fun challenge. If it's something that you liked, please give it a big thumbs up. And, of course, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video.